Hello, Ludovic. We are Thank pleased to talk to you. you. Yes. Thank you for your invitation. You are well. Uh, an introduction about yourself. How did you get into music, and what you do? Well, my story is. Well, actually, I don't have. I don't have a real, real. Uh, uh, how do you how do you say this? Um, typical story. So my story is not really typical uh, about this. Um, I'm from Curaçao, by the way, for the ones not knowing where that is. It's an island at the northern part of South America. Um, I was born and lived in Curaçao till about my 20s. Then in 86, around 86, 1986, I came to Holland for better perspectives. So um, I came here for studies. It wasn't music study yet. Mm -hmm. um, I was planning to, to, to study architecture because I had technical background. So I thought this would be a good idea to, to do something in that direction. But after six months being in Holland, um, I bought a guitar and, and started playing just like like a hobby, playing things by ear, um, accompanying people with some chords, you know, just just some little yeah. things. Not until I was like twenty six years, I started to took it a little bit more seriously give it the professional direction so i started studying much more buying music taking lessons uh, taking harmony lessons to understand the music a little bit more better and after that yeah i did i did audition in the conservatory and finished my studies started the practice Okay. About more than twenty years ago. So that's that's how how my story is. It's it's it's, so it's a little bit complicated. I didn't start really early playing the guitar. I was fifteen when I got my first guitar from my father. My father played it a little bit, but I I, I was fifteen when I got my first guitar, just playing as a hobby. So and then you make time. this your career. Much more later, I decided to take things more seriously. Yes, yes. Until now, yeah. Okay. If there was a little spark of being passionate, it became a passion, and I I made it my profession. Yeah. How amazing! Um, I remember uh, seeing one of your guitars performance in Houghton. Uh, you told me that uh, Shorus inspires your musical arrangements. Uh, tell us more about that. And do you always get inspiration from Brazilian music? Oh, I get a lot of inspiration from Brazilian music. Uh, listening to different performances, different composers, different styles. I mean, Brazil has so many music styles. Um, but mostly I dedicated my time to, to Choros. Besides what I do with music education, because that's what I dedicated my time mostly to teaching children and adults yeah. and, and some students for the preparation for, for music academies. Um, yes, I, I also dedicated time to a lot of uh, searching, finding musical styles from Brazil, especially the show. Yes. And yeah, I, I remember that day by Fluid by the Buren and how where I did a collaboration with you playing some solos. Yeah, it of course, was my Pereira was one of them. Um, yes, I, I remember. Yeah. It was really, really, yeah, inspiring, really. Nice. Um, Ludwig, talking about the lockdown, obviously, uh, it has not been. A bright time for everyone. And uh, tell us 
did you stay motivated? Um, what are your conclusions, findings regarding the lockdown? Well, I can just talk about my experience, my experience with this lockdown. Um, I wasn't much motivated. No, I need. I, I need to. Say, I need to say. I. I felt like twenty years of work, more than twenty years of work, is, has been taken from me because I lost clients, no income. Until the first of July, I started giving physical lessons again. Uh, I did some online lessons, but it, it, it wasn't really my thing and not fun at all because it's. You miss the interaction. The physical mm -hmm. interaction is really important when you when you give music lessons. So no, no, I, I wouldn't lie to anyone. I was not motivated at all. Lost inspiration. Lost. Lost everything. It's, it's like killing my creative. Okay. You're sitting at home, empty hands, no clients, no income. So. It's 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 hard. Yes, sure. Very difficult. Um, but you are still composing. You are still busy with uh, your work. Do you have a recent recent project? Well, during these months, I I just told myself I can do two things: um, just stay in a negative cycle, find any job for little income, being frustrated because for, for years I have been dealing with my own creativity, being in touch with my creativity, um, or I can try to think out of my comfort zone and find new ideas, find new ways to, 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 to better perspective. Still dedicated time to my passion. So I picked up playing more now. Um, so I, I hope I hope when this this crisis is after us, behind us um, for a great deal, I, I, I hope to, to, to play more because being being in touch with your creativity gives you the urge to to, to, um, to give. To, to 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 show the outside world actually what art is, what music is, and I think it's it's a, it's a good impulse for for people listening. It's psychological um, therapy for for people. Sure, yeah. after after the lockdown. So I, so I hope for better perspective. Yes. And doing some arrangements uh, also to okay. keep myself busy because I mean, what, what else can we do? Okay, I would like to say one thing. Just yes. One thing. Um, I think um, we as musicians, art makers, painters, decor designers, anything you do in this in in, in the art industry. I think we are the color of the society. Without these people, without creativity, without creative brains, it will be an empty gray society. So I hope for for better times, especially in this industry. Where we, I all, we all hope so. And thank you for your positive message. Yeah. The, to finalize this interview, and Tell everyone where we can find your work, where to contact you. Well, I have a website, ludwigrondon.nl. Um, I have some YouTube films, so you can see some performances I do. Uh, I do some solo performances also, um, but most of the videos are a collaboration with a good friend of mine, Jeff Guitar, uh, where we show our own arrangements of jazz, pop, music from 
different composers, Beatles, anything you can find. So our our next project will be um, also for you interesting a piece a piece of uh, uh, Jobim called How Intensive. Oh. So in a few weeks we will be recording. That's promising. I, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Now, well, thank you for being here, and uh, we keep it, we keep in touch. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Bye bye.